<laughs> oh shit! <laughs> nice, nice. Don't break the new couch. I know. Right? <laughs> Dude, these things have to be duty rated for a guy like me. This is nice. This though. is real this nice. Is... I like this. So we had a different couch uh, last week when we yes, sat we down did. to talk, and we made a joke, uh, an off-color joke about the couch maybe being used for. You know, videos, porn. Porn. <laughs> porn. just come out and say it, right? <laughs> right? And I've made that joke many a times off camera with Art. <laughs> and he always, like, gets freaked out, like, no, I've never did nothing on that couch. That couch is yeah, it's couch is pristine. And then we say that joke and he, he gets rid of it. I, I know. Well, there's right? something more to that. Because he was thinking, I'm not here all the time. <laughs> yeah. So he's thinking, Ross has been doing nice some bounce at the bounce. Not here, you know, it was a lot easier. Oh, to I know, yeah, yeah. So, how you been? But not bad, not bad. You know, it's it's paper season. We're doing the paper. Yes, we are. So, um, we know we're going to wow you with the June cover. And mm -hmm. uh, so, see, we don't want to give too much away because no, we want we you to get it. But it is, it is a nice cover. It really is. Actually, all of the covers from now until the end of the year, we have ideas for them. Ideas. Ideas. And they're good. So this is like a new trend where we're getting the experience monthly covers um, kind of in the hopper. Yeah, yeah, we got, uh, that way we can think about them and we can, you know, kind of coordinate them a little bit and we can really push the envelope to make sure they are absolutely batshit crazy. Mm. And we that's always what we want. Yeah. But I think now lately we've been able to get that. I think so. So was... what has been going on in your life? I mean, I'm doing the same thing, working on the uh, other end of the paper and ads and stuff like that. Um, so that stuff's cool. Um, I, um, is it called the Mandela Effect? Am the I Mandela saying? Effect, yeah. So. So what happened? I don't know, man, if it's just me. I don't think it's just me. I think there's something to this thing. All right, so what happened? Where, is, where did your timelines go cross-eyed? Well... I guess we should explain for people that don't know what it is, what it is. Yeah. So, like, just, I think, like, the prime example of that is when people, like, say from, like, the movie Star Wars and that whole, Luke, I am your father. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's not even in the movie. But, but everybody thinks it's, and, and, and I think it is. Right. So, I am on this timeline, then. I am on okay. the Luke, I am your father timeline. And there's a lot of other examples like that. The Berenstain Bears, how it's spelled. Yes. Whether it's A-I-N at the end or, or uh, E-I-N at the end. Uh, that, and then, uh, what was the other one? Shazam, or um, what they say? Uh, Sinbad did a genie movie. But ah. he never did. <laughs> he never did a genie movie. So Sinbad is the one that, actually, I was going to bring up, so it's funny. Oh. <laughs> so there's more. No, no, I wasn't going to bring up that particular one, but I forgot about that. Yeah. So people say that the actor-comedian Sinbad made a genie movie, yeah. which we Called all kind Shazam of... Shazam or something like that. We all feel like we remember that. I, I feel like... It, it, to me, Sinbad, look, he just... he just I see him and he reminds me of somebody who would, who would do really well in a genie movie anyway. It would have done great for his career. It would have. It really. And he could go and do it now and be like, bring the full Mandela, like bring the two timelines together. And well, would go watch here's it. Here's where I'm having the problem though with Sinbad, was that I recall Sinbad. He died back in like the, not really mid, but mid to late nineties. He died in the nineties. Oh, the. I remember it. You remember it? Okay. He was gone. Notice you hadn't seen anything from him. That's true, yeah. All that time. No, so, I kind of wish we had a little computer here to find out if no. he's kicking or when he really died. No, that's the thing. I seen a, a video of him the other day. He's, oh, okay. He's alive. So he's alive. But I don't know how his health is doing. And just to say this, oh, oh God, we can't do this. So <laughs> do last, last week we talked about Jim Brown. Talk a little shit about him. Not, yeah, not yeah, too bad. Some, 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 some light smack. Yeah, just a personal encounter. Just, you know, saying I was a dick back in like 1997 or 8 or whatever the hell it was. <laughs> One time. <laughs> and then yeah. he dies the next day. <laughs> so Sinbad. I'm not laughing because he died. I'm laughing because we were literally just talking about him. Yeah. And joking about him. And then, yeah, he's gone. So, like, like he must have known. So keep an eye on Sinbad. Um, oh, because no. he already died. 
So and we're gonna I, so we're gonna basically talk about people, and then they're gonna. There was a movie about that, right? I think so. In, in the Mandela Effect, in another timeline, there was a movie oh. about a, oh, a, a yeah. show that talked about people and they died. Of course, yeah, yeah of, of course, course it was. Okay. Okay. I got I, I got one. I got a Mandela Effect. Okay, so. This is, everybody is on the other timeline, I guarantee you, from this. Every time people do stuff for me throughout my life, I've always been like, hey, man, I appreciate that. appreciate it. And, you know, never even thought in my mind, oh, yeah, sure, you always tell people you appreciate it when they do stuff for you. Now, suddenly, just one day I heard I did something for someone, something dumb, like someone held the door or something really minor, and they were like, I appreciate you. And I heard it, and I was like, that, that sounds weird. That, I, appreciate I appreciate you, you for, for, for opening a door. Like, I appreciate you. I, I, I appreciate it. You, you opened the door for me. I appreciate it. But, no, they said, I appreciate you. And then I got on Facebook and I was like, is this a thing? This I appreciate you thing instead of it. Um, you know, because, and, and everybody's like, oh, yeah, I, it's I appreciate you. You know, I'm like, no, I've always grown up with I appreciate it. And suddenly everybody, even older people who grew up when I grew up, no, it's I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, it was. I appreciate it. It felt like it was for oh, a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, though, is uh, something that's I've heard more in like the last decade, maybe. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. It feels better to hear it, though, doesn't it? I like it in a way. Yes, I appreciate you. Does it hits you in the feelings and in the heart? It really does. But to me, it's like okay. Well, I don't want you to tell me that you appreciate me for opening the door for you. Because if I give you my lung or my kidney, what are you going to say? Oh, I appreciate you. Well, right. you know, like, like, this ain't an open door. I'm giving you my kidney or my lung. So, like, there should be, like, a door should be, like, I appreciate it because you're appreciating a favor. So you want, you want to have a place to go. It's like yeah. somebody says, how are you doing today? And you start out with spectacular. Yeah. Where do you go from there? Right? So, like, if I give someone a kidney, I want them to say, I appreciate your soul. You know, or something even better than I appreciate you. And what is better than I appreciate you? Is it, it is the best thing you can do. It's the best thing you can say. I appreciate you in my life. You know, and so there's no greater depth that you can, you can climb. So that's why I would say I appreciate it. And then, or, or thanks, pal. That's the first one, right? Thanks, pal. Thanks, pal. Yeah, and then, then I appreciate it. And that's, that's for a bigger ask. That's like someone hooked you up with 50 bucks so you could go get a moving company or, you know, like to put towards a moving company. I appreciate it. And then you give the kidney in the lung, you get the I appreciate you. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's where you start out. You still got both of your kidneys? For now. Okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> for now. It. Just in case, you know, you never know. Um, actually, might be able to just cut one of them in half. Yeah, right. <laughs> get share them. So, all right, I'm going to go in and share deep here, real deep. Mm. Speaking of, like, giving kidneys and stuff. Okay. Okay, so I gave blood the other day, um, and it was fine. Every, I'm, I'm good. The blood was good. You know, I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm all good with that. And I got my cookies, and I didn't pass out, and I came home. But I tried to give blood another day a couple, like, a couple weeks before, and I couldn't because my blood pressure was too high. And um, it was crazy because I had done something embarrassing. Not too, too, not just, I don't know if I want to say what embarrassing thing I had done. Could you have gotten arrested for it? No, no, nothing like I could that. get arrested. Right. Basically, it was the kind of embarrassing thing that I had to call a plumber about for $300. Ah, damn. So it was that kind of level of embarrassing. Got so it. basically, my landlord, right as I am getting the cuff, you know, to, to do my blood pressure to see if I can even donate. My landlord calls me and says, you're going to have to get a plumber. That our guy can't do it. So, so like, I could not donate because my blood pressure, the moment he said that, my blood pressure went spiked. to, like, yeah, it, it spiked to the point where they didn't even know why I was still standing wow. there. So, um, yeah, so, that, so in terms of giving kidneys, um, I think that I'm going to have to have a good day. I think I'm going to have to eat right, exercise for a couple weeks, if I decide to give Kenya and then and then right. be appreciated, yeah, have someone say I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeah. Well, I'm holding that. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for the kidney. <laughs> now, is it is it bad that save it for the kidney. <laughs> as a, a man in my 40s that I don't know my blood type is that uncommon? If you've never given blood, you really unless the only times you know your blood type is if you've given blood or you've gotten blood. So if you've never really given blood or gotten blood, you you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. 
Yeah, you know, I'm not against giving blood. I'm actually off for it. I get so squeamish, though, around blood. <laughs> like, I'm the type where, seeing my own blood, I can see somebody else's blood all day long. It's only about my own blood. I just want to pass the hell out. It is a little weird. I mean, because they, I mean, the, you know, because you got the whole, like, you're sitting there and you got to squeeze your hand when you're doing it to make sure the blood keeps flowing. So, like, that was the worst part for me. It wasn't even the blood or kneeling or nothing right. like that. Is that I'm squeezing. I'm like, am I squeezing right? Am I squeezing the right way? And that, and that was, that was it. That was, like, the worst part for me was, like, am I squeezing this the right way? So, <laughs> when, you, when, you, when we edit this video, yeah, right, right. The, you should do a before clip, you know, like a preview clip. That should be it. Am I squeezing it the right way? Am I squeezing it the right way? Just for clickbait, you know? <laughs> I think that might work. We're just kind of learning this. This is a new yeah. YouTube channel <laughs> thing we got going on. No MSD. No MSG. No LSD. No, no, LSD. <laughs> no Mickey D's. <laughs> no Mickey D's. The McDonald's app, right? Though, oh. it's, it's... I'm not saying anyone should eat McDonald's. I don't even know, like... If you throw the stuff on the ground, ants don't eat it. Maybe no one should just natural. have the app. <laughs> if you eat it, it's one thing, but if you actually have the app, that's a whole level of commitment. But the app is keeping poor people alive. Like, <laughs> the points and the rewards and the, and the deals. <coughs> I just, uh, I give to people, honestly, a lot on yeah. the street. Um, and I don't care what people think about that. No, but yeah. I'm also thinking, I know a lot of them have phones. Uh, because you can get a phone for free. Yeah, you. like a yeah, yeah, like a free that 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 service or whatever. So you if you're hurting for money, get that goddamn McDonald's app on there because you will be eating like a king. Every oh, time yeah. you get something through the app, they like give you something else. And it's like I'll tell you, man. Uh, when it comes to, I have had to learn, and and just just because I've seen how much I can spend it, and I've I decided, okay, well, I'm going to cut down to, you know, absolute bare minimum. What I have learned. And this is crazy, is that the dollar store, and possibly any dollar store, I mean, I don't know, but they have muscle meat for a dollar. What is that mean? Muscles, muscles, like the sea creatures, the muscles. Oh, The oh. meat of muscles, like muscles. They a, do? A bag of muscles for a dollar. That doesn't sound... They're not bad, that's the really? thing. They're not, right. they, they don't kill you. But yeah, so they got like weird at the dollar store. You can actually put together a cuisine for like you know three bucks. I mean, there's definitely some good food in the dollar store. Yeah. I'm not gonna knock that. You can get those giant. First of all, it's a dollar twenty five now. But yeah, you, you can get that giant friggin' burrito, the one that's like this big. Yeah, that's all you gotta eat. You eat one of those a day. You don't need anything else. Oh God! Oh, I know those things are awesome too. But uh, they're you know, awesome, even though they taste like garbage. They're awesome because you know you're just eating a lot. Oh, it's it's you feel it. In yeah, your you do. Yeah. I think. But uh, awesome. man, I got some cheese once. I just ran there real quick. We're having a little barbecue in the backyard, so I'm like, you know, they got cheese there. So I go, yeah, this cheese wouldn't melt. It was <laughs> impossible. There was no melting to it. Wow. I don't know what's. Dude, I, I had uh, egg rolls from the dollar store. Shrimp, lobster, and pork. Oh, wow. And um, they did not taste like shrimp, lobster, or pork. They tasted like chemicals. Um, sure, but weirdly good. enough, the texture was right. Mm. So if you get over the chemical taste, the texture was actually good. Well, I guess that's important. I guess it is. <laughs> you know, I think like you wasted your money. You know? Well, you know, they got all these um, ramen places now, like fancy ramen places yeah. where you go and you pay $30, $40 for a bowl of ramen. I tried it once just because I wanted to see what the hype was about. Yeah. But it was good. Yeah. And honestly, I usually am one. I always fit. I, for the most part, unless I get appetizers, I always finish my meal when I go out. Yeah. This bowl was so deep. No, I couldn't finish it. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff in there. Was it functionally different than the ramen you could just buy at the store, or was it like was it better ramen? It was. Uh, I think the noodles were practically the same, but it was all the other elements that they put into it, and they have this weird like white thing with pink in the middle, and they kind of chop it up, and it has no flavor whatsoever. I think they're called fish cakes or something like that. I don't understand that. Yeah. I mean, because it's flavorless. What's your function? You know, like, <laughs> it's just like, cakes, what are your functions? It just looks pretty in there, I guess. But, um, you know, my goal is to never eat ramen again. Yeah. You know, I want to get to the point in my life 
Why never? <laughs> That's a go. Oh, yeah. eat ramen noodles ever again. You know, ramen is just, I mean, God, what? You can get ramen for like 27 cents a piece. Yeah, yeah. I love I love terrible. ramen. I don't I haven't been eating ramen lately. Um, been trying to do the health thing and that's you know just that is the worst unhealthy thing for you because it, it's like everything that's super cheap is also super unhealthy for yeah. you. Like they want the poor people to die off. They right? do. Sorry, but they do. They want the poor people to die off. Because everything that's super cheap is yeah, it's gonna kill you quicker. I so like yeah, I've been trying not to eat the ramen, I've um, been trying to exercise and all that stuff, but man, I make up some some ramen, you know, put your own spices in it, throw some cheese on it. Well, that's what I always do. Um, I find that uh, Parmesan cheese actually uh, really smixes in well. Yeah. Um, almost with any kind of uh, broth that you're going to make, Parmesan cheese kind of hypes them all up. Nice, nice. But um, I, I tend to, so like when we do have the really hot one, so I'll take the, the really hot jalapeno. Uh, when then I'll take everything I have in my cabinet and refrigerator that's also hot and spicy, oh, and nice. I will make the hottest ramen that exists yeah. in the entire planet, and you pay for it. Dude, that's oh, cool. Oh, you pay for it. That is cool. But I love some spice. I, all I got right now, all I got in my house is spicy, and this is embarrassing because it is not spicy at all, is Frank's Red Hot. That's the only thing I got that's anywhere near hot. That's, and I it's, mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, well, they have that, that show, right, where they eat those hot wings, yeah, hot ones, oh, yeah, and they go through, I think they have like 10 wings, and they have all the different, yeah, I mean, Frank's Red Hot's not making that list, no. but I've I had, had this, there is this one stuff, it's garlic uh, pepper sauce, mm. and you, the container has the chicken on it, uh, you've probably seen it, it's like, it's like a, a pla clear plastic container, it's got a chicken on it, and Vietnamese writing, and that stuff is pretty hot. That stuff's good. I like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm about hot and spicy things, but not to the point where I can't enjoy it anymore. That used to be the thing, man. I used to, my dad, uh, when I was a teenager, would come home and we'd just be all about the, the hottest salsa that you could find. I mean, this stuff was so hot. Like, I'm just like, how the hell did, you can't enjoy it. Dude, I grew Carolina Reapers one time in my, in my backyard. Yeah, that. I, I didn't eat them. I just gave them to people, and I had, I had one of my writer friends um, out in uh, San Francisco. I sent him to him, and he was like, he did a video, and he yeah. was like, I'm gonna eat this. Uh, my buddy Liam sent it to me. I'm gonna eat this, and, and you're gonna watch me drool. And he ate it, and he threw up, and and it was really bad. Like the whole thing, he was just crying. He was swearing me out, and and you know, yeah. I told him it was the hottest pepper in, in the world at the time. But he, he thought he knew better. So all these hot peppers, though, because they keep coming out, all of a sudden, like, next week, there's another one. It's kind of like monitoring who the richest person in the world, and it keeps going back yeah. from Bezos. And Basically, Moscow. once you have $100 billion, it doesn't matter if you're the richest person in the world anymore. But I think the same thing's happening with, like, the uh, peppers, man. They're, like, yeah. bionically making this stuff just to... I don't think you... If it's, like, if it's, like, 2 million on the Scoville, I don't think you're going to notice the one that's 2.3 million on the Scoville. You're already, you're already dead from the, from, from the Carolina Reaper. If you can stand that, there's... I don't see how you get hotter. I mean, you know, it's, yeah, it's going to be hotter, sure, but... But, yeah, I mean, at that point, you're just feeling the same way. But my uh, sister-in-law was growing uh, the ghost peppers, like the real oh, deal yeah, yeah, yeah. ghost peppers. And, like, you couldn't even eat, like, a, a little tiny piece of this thing without wrecking your whole day. Oh, yeah. And, of course, her brother, being Mr. Tough Guy, oh, man, and then... The thing is, you put it in your mouth, you know, you get all tough, you're like, oh, but then for like hours and hours and hours, it's, it's torture. But you then need like four or five gallons of milk. Yeah. <laughs> but then your dumb ass goes in the bathroom and you got to take a leak and then you touch down there. <laughs> that happened to me too. <laughs> and forget oh. about it, man. Yeah, because you never, ever think. To wash the shit out of your hands before going to the bathroom after eating a hot pepper, you just don't think to do it. Just yeah. And it, oh it, yeah, it, that was that was not fun. Yeah, so so that that was not fun. I, that that has happened to me. Wouldn't too. recommend it. Oh, but I was gonna say like the the way the, the how hot they are and the thing it's like I don't know how true this is anymore. Some people say like when you do an MP3, right? Mm -hmm. It samples at a certain rate that's like forty four thousand one hundred. Sample like that's the sample rate. 
they said the human ear really can't detect anything greater than that. So you could have it super high and super great, but nobody's going to tell the difference. I think that's the same way with hot peppers. Like, like there is a hot pepper thing that that's all it's going to do to your mouth, and anything above that doesn't really do anything. It's like if you get shot in the chest, <laughs> you know, yeah. by one bullet, and then another one's more, more powerful. I mean, you're it already dead. It goes to the same hole. <laughs> <laughs> you're already dead. Yeah, right, right. So that's well, cool. So you got any... Um, uh, Hot peppers or anything growing this season? No, that could be our next no, uh, little video here. No. Oh God! Sweat no. death I mean, on the we, couch. we could always order out, but I got none. I got nothing. I'm because I'm, I'm in an apartment now, so so I, I don't have a garden anymore. Um, I could you know drop some. I could drop some seeds and see what happens. I wonder what they got in those urban grow centers that they have around. Because we're in like an urban yet. area. Where, yeah. No, yeah, but where do they have those? I haven't seen. Oh, there's one in Coes. Is there one in Coes? Yeah, there is one in Coes. It's right. It should be. It's right up behind the, the gym. Troy's got several. Uh, Albany's got quite a few. Yeah, I don't I, I don't know if Detroit it's, basically is that now. Yeah, Detroit is that now. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty it's much better what than it was. was so. Yeah. yeah wow. But, uh, uh, you know what? They should be growing on every roof. I mean, every roof should have, like, a little way to get up there and, and have, like, because, yeah, I mean, honestly, the more food we have growing, and, and find a way so you don't really have to sit there and, Go crazy with water. Grow, grow plants that don't need a lot of water, but right. still produce food. And then just yeah, they should be doing that. Like on, on top of every building, they should be doing that. Absolutely. Well, I mean, they just discovered that um, uh, the ancients civilizations actually created their own soil uh, in the desert. Oh, that's cool. And that's how they were able to sustain and, and grow stuff. But I mean. You want to talk about intelligence, I mean. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. intelligence. That is super, yeah. Super. But now the soil, I forget what it's called, but, you know, lays on the top layer over sand, basically, in the deserts. And when they can find this stuff, because it's still in existence, and it's proven to be man-made, it's like if your garden at home was suffering, they're like, sprinkle some of this in, and it magically nice. just turns around. It's like the miracle. Nice, nice, yeah. We got to get some of that. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, Phil, like, you know, do a little grow, mini grow operation somewhere around in here. Yeah. It's a little tiny grow operation. Only grow operations Only my for peppers. friends are doing. Are, are I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The peppers, man. Peppers. Only peppers. peppers. Yeah, super hot peppers. I almost think weed's not cool anymore. It's like, it's no, legal. It, it, cause, uh, it's boring. Everybody's got it. Your grandparents are smoking it. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> so, so when I smoked, when I used to smoke weed, I used to smoke like a half ounce every other day. Like I was, I went through it just like crazy, just by myself. I, mm -hmm. I loved weed. Yeah. And then I quit in like 07. And, um, and then I just, now like, it's like, yeah, you're right. It's like, I go, I go outside and I'm like, okay, well I smell weed. Cause back in, in 06, let's say, if I went out and smelled weed, I was like, ooh, somebody's got weed. Right. Ooh, right. somebody's got weed. And, and now I smell and I was like, oh God, somebody, somebody's going to be late for their job appointment. It's just <laughs> like, I mean, honestly, if I don't consider it a drug really, but, um, it's just not hip anymore to me. It's just like. You know, and kind of like all the, um, you know, having to sneak around and not get caught, and just honestly, like that the was whole fun. the whole drug dealing it operation. Was, yeah, with me. it was really fun. You know, you drive to the hood, you <laughs> stick your little money out the window. Yeah. Hopefully, you don't get robbed, and you get something in return. Oh yeah, Hi, but yeah, they missed that. These kids, they just you know, yeah, they're just like spoon fed everything, and 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 the, and the I think I think that what makes it even like crazier is that the weed today is insanely powerful compared to like this stuff like our, our good stuff back then was today's dirt yeah so i mean you know and i, I don't understand how people can function because i would smoke really good weed back in the day and i couldn't function really right i mean i could i could function but barely you know i mean i could I could get through the day um lay down on my couch or sit in my chair all day uh, but these kids are, they're smoking like 92% THC and they're going to work a full time job. You know, like, like full, have to fully Love use that. their mind. I mean, I used to, in my 20s and stuff, I mean, and I was, you know, full time uh, on the air. I would not ever go on the air unless I was ripped. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it added to the comedy of the show and all that stuff. But man, I would not want to do that now. You think I'm going to produce your show very well? Probably not. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> anyway, 
smoking them if you got them, I guess. You know, yeah. I'm not going to turn it down if you pass it my way. Yeah, like I mean, I am. I mean, as much as I think it's it's boring and uncool for yeah, to smoke boring, weed, it's boring. But I'm so glad people can do it because I mean, I would have loved to have just been able to do it back when I was smoking. I would have loved it. So I'm glad people can do it. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. I'm happy for them. You know, I'm kind of like to the point though. Like I'm glad some of my friends are actually getting into the professional side of. Uh, the growing operations and actually actually a friend of mine's opening up a dispensary so i'm happy for them i'm not happy for my friends who were selling weed you know at their house and now have no customers because everybody's either got it already yeah. or grown it and they're just sitting there <laughs> like this was my job <laughs> oh yeah i feel bad oh, for him yeah. you know oh, yeah. but i also feel like the decriminalization was enough that needed to happen. That was, I mean, that's that's crap. That that it's was enough for me though, because I feel like now all the weed's gonna be government controlled, and it's <laughs> yeah, like, right, right. you know, I'm not, whatever. Just decriminalize it the way you got it. But it yeah, looks like we're moving. For, anyway, it's not as cool as it used to be. When I did it, it was cool. So when, uh, yeah, no, right. I was just about to say, you know what we need right now? We need Jesus freaks. And by that I mean the song Jesus Freaks. Jesus Freaks. And I'm we trying do. to who that was Chris Bassone, right? Yeah. Okay, so Jesus Freaks, Chris Bassone, here you go. Now we're talking back here, and now I don't even remember what I was doing. Okay, so this is a song from our first record. Pissed everybody off. I, and I don't know why. Listen real close. It's really, it's really not that bad. But who the hell really listens? I mean, I don't know. Anyway, it's called Jesus Freaks. Yes. We split it. Jesus Freaks. Jesus Freaks. You know God, He made the world in just one week. God, but I ain't no Jesus freak. If he made a sin as a match, he must be just like me. At least that's the way that I would like to see it. And if our spirits can drink, and you are no better than me, well, I don't need you to remind me of his deeds, faith. Jesus freaks. Jesus freaks You know God he made the world in just one week yeah. Jesus freaks I shall be released You know I take God But I ain't no Jesus freak No, no, no I was born just once And I've done the best I can You put me down but you're born again and again and again and again that you feel him in you and you find all that you see I feel him too but I don't feel I need to preach faith Jesus freaks Jesus freaks yeah oh, you know God he made the whole world in just one week yeah. Jesus freaks I shall be released you know that I take God we know we made a race of people and he floods the top of life But I don't think he made us just to praise him all my life I got my own beliefs as I'm sure that we all do But listen man, to thine own self, the truth that's all Check his 
We should do that song in the lawn sausages. <laughs>